Hey everyone, how's everybody doing? Hope everyone's doing fantastic. It's been a long time since I posted a video and it's time that I post a new video up, get the ball rolling with YouTube, post more videos. I'm hoping to do more videos weekly with all the updates and everything going on with the Jeep. Life, as everybody has known, between COVID, everything else going on has been hard and I've been doing work on the Jeep. If you follow on Instagram, at Devil Dog Off Road, you can see a lot of the pictures of everything that's been going on. But I figured it was time to do a video, get back on track with that, give everybody an update, and show hopefully everything that's going to come in the future. And we should have this Jeep rolling soon. So, to start off with, the engine is in here. It's a 5.3 V8 fuel injected. Still have some wiring gremlins. It cranks and runs for a second, but we're getting that worked out. My buddy and mentor, Chris Durham, is going to come out here and help me finish with the wiring, hence wire nuts and all that. All that wiring hasn't been done. Uh, I did put in a new fuse block here for all accessories and other things and whatnot with the breaker. Uh, so all that's good to go. Uh, radiator, I still got to build a fan shroud. Everything else is pretty much in here ready to go. Just a few things we got to tweak. The radiator coolant, cooler, hoses, everything's good to go. It's still on the Dana 44 front, but the Dana 60 is at the shop and we're putting it together as soon as some parts come in. The 14 bolt shaved is underneath here. The exhaust is hooked up. I will be rerouting some of the exhaust past the muffler but for right now it's in there and it works these are just roll around tires and wheels just to get in and out of the shop that's why the brake calibers and other things aren't on it and the original springs are on it for right this second because the other stuff is ordered and as everybody knows things are back ordered and can't get stuff the inside the whole back has been everything's been taken out of it because i'm going to spray the inside which i'll post a video with when I do do it, I had to change the sending unit because it was old and get all that redone so that I can get more fuel pressure to the engine. And as you saw, the core blue racing seats are in the vehicle and those were set up. I had to build brackets for those. And once I get some more going, I will get the five point seats in it as well as a center console for it i need to finish the the tray area in the back i made the middle where you can take it off because with the atlas that should be here in a couple weeks and is and a gear shifter because i don't want them to shift on the column i'll be able to clean all that up and be able to access everything a little bit bigger i will be running a manual oil pressure and temperature and this is a cutout for all my switches and everything as far as that's concerned for extra lighting, accessories, and uh, USB ports, 12 volts so I can charge stuff. The roof rack still hasn't been painted. I've been busy with other stuff, but it is up there. And once I get a chance, I gotta finish grinding a couple little things on it, paint it, and we'll be good to go. Rock sliders, as you've probably seen before, already in, built those a while back. And yes, it's a little lower on the front because the original axle still under there. So as you can see, there's been a lot of things going on. The Jeep has been a lot to build, a lot of custom parts and whatnot. Like I said, if you follow online, uh, my good mentor and friend, Chris Durham at Chris, Chris Durham Motorsports has really helped a lot. I call him, ask for advice, go over to the shop, figure it out, come home, build it, do whatever I need to do, order the parts. So that's helped, and uh, my buddy Taylor, at Taylor Wise on Instagram, in case you're interested, he's building a cool Willis Jeep. Check him out. He's been a lot of support, and everybody else has been able to come out here, hand, give me a hand, maybe picking stuff up, moving stuff around. It's just been little by little, plus trying to get this shop organized where I can work on the Jeep and other projects, because as we all know, some of us have regular jobs and lives and still have to fit in time to do everything we want to do so it's not like i'm full time just working on this jeep and as much as i would want to with that being said support systems as a veteran trusting people 
getting out there, reaching out. It's hard sometimes. It's hard to trust, especially you have that brotherhood, sisterhood, being in the military, trying to find people you want to hang out with, like-minded that you can trust. If it wasn't for the support of the people I've met, the people that, have, that love what I love doing, who want to learn, who want to come out here and give me a hand, it'd be hard. It'd be hard not to be able to come out here and do it. Even when my son's here, he wants to play, I need to work on the Jeep, but we all make it work. He understands, and I don't take away from spending time with my son because that's important. Family's important, especially with the holidays coming up. But find those people, find that support network, those people you can talk to. It doesn't even have to be about the trauma or what you dealt with in the military, but just to get your mind off of things and help you with whatever projects, whatever you're passionate about, find those like-minded people, get that support network. It's not huge. It doesn't have to be a lot of people, but just those few people that you know you can turn to, talk to, it's important. And I try to always, you know, want to be out there to help people. Feel free to message me. And if you're having a bad day, just want to shoot the shit, talk shop, whatever it is, feel free to reach out. It's hard to find those people, and I hope you continue to watch the videos, continue to see the progress on the Jeep. A lot of parts have finally come in. I do have the 40 inch tires, I'm waiting on wheels, but I do have some wheels that I can put on there for now to set up everything once I finish the front axle, which should be in the next couple weeks. We're getting all the parts together. And so stay tuned, like, subscribe, follow the page, and I will be posting weekly updates, even if it's small things. And don't forget to follow me on social media at Devil Dog Off Road on Instagram. Hope everybody has a great Christmas, great New Year's, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all the holidays. Love everybody and hope everybody has a great time.